What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and today I'm going to show you guys how you can idle for Steam cards on Steam for games that you have. If you're familiar with idling in the past, you've probably heard of Steam Idle Master by Jay Shackles. This has been discontinued since January 3rd of 2018 and no longer works. If you try running it, you'll have issues logging in and it'll just die there. So there are many other alternatives, but the ones that I do prefer the most are modified versions of this here. So we have this one here, Jonas Nielsen's Idle Master Extended, which is a fork from the original J Shackles Idle Master. This one, as far as I know, still works, even though it was last updated a year ago, but it should definitely still work. So I'll hit four releases at the top, which is the current number. And where it says that latest release, hit the dot zip with the latest version right over here, or hit direct download over there. Open it up with the zip browser of your choice. I've got 7-zip here. And you can either drag and drop the file out like this, or drag and drop all the files into a folder of your choice. I've just created one called idlemaster on my desktop. So open up idlemaster.exe and hit the sign in button. You'll be presented with this window here, and you can verify Steam's URL up here steamcommunity.com slash login. So in here, enter your Steam login details and hit sign in. I'm presented with Steam Guard because I haven't logged in with this browser before. You can see that Idlemaster is now saving your information locally. Now, as far as I know, this is completely safe. I've been using it for both my main accounts and alternative accounts and been recommending it to friends for quite some time. And you'll see that now it's automatically idling games. This can be quite annoying for your friends if you open up, say, 30 games at once. So just make sure that you're in the invisible mode when you do start this program up. Having this program running when you open something like Counter-Strike Global Offensive can cause issues. And I've noticed that I can't join VAC secure servers with it open. However, I did not receive a ban ever in the many times that have accidentally left this open. At worst, I've had to close Steam, Counter-Strike, this and then restart Steam and Counter-Strike. So we can hit File, Settings at the very top, and we can choose what happens here. Um, I'm going to ignore most of these, except for idling behavior. You can change this to whatever you want, or leave it at the preferred fast mode. Under Idling Order, you can change it to prioritize games with the highest card values, so the most expensive ones, highest number of available drops, and lowest number of available drops. Once you've done that, you can hit Accept, and you'll have to restart the program to have all the changes take effect. Obviously, I haven't changed anything, so I'm going to leave it as is. You can see that I have 15 card drops remaining within four games here. So that's about it. You leave it going overnight or say whenever. And when you get back, you'll notice a new notification on the top of your Steam saying you've received a bunch of items. Going into your inventory, you'll see that you have a bunch of card drops and this will probably be completed by then. So that's it. That's how to simply idle for Steam cards using Steam Idle Master in 2019 because the original version by Jay Shackles doesn't work anymore. So again, links are in the description down below to the original that doesn't work. And the link right before that will be the one that actually does work, The Fork by Jonas Nelson. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mean Technobo here for Troubleshoots. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.